Welcome back, gamers and science fiction enthusiasts to a new video by your secret lover, Chrononaut. Today, we're diving headfirst into the iconic realm of a game that revolutionized the FPS genre Half-Life. Released in 1998 by Valve Corporation, this groundbreaking title shattered the conventions of its time and introduced players to a captivating blend of intense action, intricate storytelling, and innovative gameplay mechanics. Join us as we peel back the layers of nostalgia and exploration, delving into the origins, impact, and enduring legacy of the game that truly redefined what it meant to be a first-person shooter. Grab your crowbars and hazard suits, because it's time to relive the magic of Half-Life. Here we go with number one. In the original Half-Life game, there was a scientist character with thick glasses and white hair on the sides. A fan site adopted this character as their mascot in 1999 calling him Walter Bennett. The character, written by the site's founder Kevin Fragmaster Bowen, became popular. Valve and Gearbox liked the idea, and in the subsequent expansion packs like Opposing Force and Blue Shift, Walter Bennett was officially mentioned by name, becoming part of the Half-Life franchise canon. 2. The security doors in the game are labeled Security 7G, a reference to Homer Simpson's position as a safety inspector in Sector 7G of the Springfield Nuclear Power Plant in The Simpsons. Number 3. Quentin Tarantino has expressed his admiration Half-Life, mentioning his desire to potentially create a film adaptation of it in the future. Number 4. Although a Dreamcast version of the game was planned, it was cancelled due to slow loading times. Rare copies of the cancelled Dreamcast version occasionally surface on auction sites like eBay or Amazon. Originally, Half-Life, Blue Shift, 2001, was intended as an exclusive extra feature for the Sega Dreamcast version of Half-Life. When the Dreamcast version was cancelled, the add-on was released for PC instead. Number 5. In the Office Complex chapter of the game, there's a sign indicating the directions to Dr. Newell, a reference to the creator of the game. Gabe Newell. Number 6. Level designer Dave Riller cleverly included his surname in the game, appearing on a locker at the beginning and hidden as an Easter egg in the materials transport under a Hiku outpost in the map C2A2C. Number 7. In the early stages of Half Life's development, the security guard character was originally inspired by Barney Fife from The Andy Griffith Show. Although the character underwent several redesigns and no longer resembled Barney Fife, the models were still named Barney.mdl in the game files. Number 8. Half-Life revolutionized the first-person shooter genre by shifting focus from Doom clones to narrative-driven gameplay and immersive environments. The sequel, Half-Life 2, popularized the use of physics as a core gameplay element and introduced characters with realistic facial animations. Other games, like Halo, took inspiration from Half-Life, incorporating similar elements into their gameplay. Number 9, Half-Life 2, Survivor, an arcade game co-developed by Valve and Taito based on Half-Life 2, was exclusive to Japan. Despite fans' wishes for more Half-Life games, no other official titles from Valve were released in Japan. However, fan-made ports for PC exist after the game's servers were shut down, considering it as abandonware. Number 10, fans created a remake of Half-Life titled Black Mesa in 2012, using the latest version of the Source engine. This remake includes updated graphics, new character models, and additional voiceovers. In a surprising move, Valve, the original creators of Half-Life, fully supported this fan-made remake. Number 11, Half-Life held the title of the highest-selling first-person shooter for 13 years until Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, 2011, surpassed it. Number 12, a book titled The 37th Mandala appears inside Freeman's locker in the game, and it's written by Mark Laidlaw, the writer of Half-Life. Number 13, the names found on lockers in the bathroom at the game's beginning and on footlockers in Half-Life, opposing forces training level are the names of individuals who worked on both games. In summation, as we wrap up our journey into the world of Half-Life, it's impossible not to be awestruck by the lasting impact this game has had on both the gaming industry and our own memories. From the thrilling escape through the Black Mesa research facility to the heart-pounding encounters with interdimensional foes, Half-Life's influence can be felt in countless titles that followed. Whether you're a diehard fan who experienced its debut or a newcomer eager to discover gaming's roots, 
one thing remains clear, Half-Life's legacy is a testament to the power of innovation, storytelling, and the boundless creativity of game developers. So, as we close this chapter, remember to keep your HEV suit handy and your curiosity piqued, for the world of Half-Life is one that will continue to captivate and inspire generations to come. Thanks for joining us on this nostalgic expedition, and until next time, stay tuned and game on!